Welcome to the MVP. It's the Man Two Podcast. Yeah, heard. And we back again to give you a podcast that only we can give you what it do what's happening. How you doing, Booker? Man, I'm good, brother. You know what I'm saying? Uh, the illustrious words and phrase from Roll Bounce. A great movie. How you doing today? Never better, brother. Never better. You know what I'm talking about? That's what the daddy said when, when my guest asked him. You know what I'm saying? How you doing? How you doing? Mm-hmm. Never better, brother. Never better. I got That's you. me right there. Man, uh, a lot didn't happen this week, man. Oh. A lot didn't happen. We got a lot to touch on, man. We got a lot of stuff to go over. But before we get into that, you know, the people got to know what's going on with you, man. What's happening with you? Well, that's a quick segment right there. We can get right to what you're talking about. Okay. Yeah, okay. Well, we could we could start. Well, l- let's go with me first. Right now, I'm oh. currently, it's Friday night. The Colorado Buffaloes are playing. And okay. I'm watching the game right now, enjoying myself. Right now, it's about to go in halftime, 29-0. Uh, and they doing their thing against Stanford, which we knew they should do. Um, I'm just – we just chugging along, and I'm glad they they doing their thing. They keeping course. I, I don't have nothing else new to say. I'm just happy with what they're doing. Today, I ordered me two jerseys. Okay. I got me a Jimmy Horn jersey coming and a Shador jersey coming. I was about to order uh, uh, Xavier Weaver. And mm. Travis Hunter, but I was like, that's too much goddamn money to for these niggas that I don't know who's gonna stay there that long. <laughs> so um I got them two and I got them two coming. But other than that, you know what I'm saying? My Colorado business, you know what I'm saying? They handle business last week. Um Mata came in there, kicked him a nice clutch field goal, um, uh-huh. did his thing, you know what I'm saying? Mata don't miss. Shout out to them. Um, Same. but I'm glad this week, as of right now, them boys started off strong. They doing their thing, and they not they not poop putting around down to the level of their competition. They just whooping ass today. Um, mm. Colorado's out of there. I don't want like I don't want to spend too much time on them. We got to talk about the team that's on your hat right now. Nah, nah, nah. Don't turn it around. <laughs> never, turn it around. never, this, never. This, this what we want to see. That's what everybody's never. putting in about you. So I no. want to make sure we know we give you your time. Uh, we heard a lot of shit last week and the week before that and the week before that. So we want to make sure you good after this that loss. To, um, the all right. Look, 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 look at people. For people who love to see the anguish on Cowboy fans' faces mm-hmm. um, after an agonizing, painful, bittersweet defeat, um, I mean, we got dragged through the mud. Literally, we were the dirt and the water to make that compound what it was. Like mm-hmm. they literally, all they did was grab us by our ankles or by our arms and just drag us through. I'm not even mad. I said personally, out my own mouth, I said that this week or you know last week would be a tough test. I never said that the 49ers was trash or anything like that. I said it's going to be an uphill battle, you and did, it's going to let them know where we are. I will say that you gave them their respect. So, I, I I tell people, man, I'm such a realist, even though I'm an advantageous fan of them boys. You know what I'm saying? We're talking about the Cowboys, not little kids. All right? let's, let's be clear, yeah, people, when I say them boys. So, also, I'm not – Dak is who I always thought he was. I never support Dak like that. I don't think he's that good. Never thought he was that good. I honestly would rather this season to have Zach Wilson over Dak Prescott. That's just me. Mm. I think, yeah, it's that bad. He is nah. that bad. He is that bad. He is that bad that I want something else. That that's how bad that boy is. Okay, he is the James Harden of the Cowboys. Whatever team James Harden goes on, now James Harden performs in the regular season at least. Okay, he shrink in the playoffs. Boy, just disappeared. You know what I'm saying? This boy Dak disappears in all the of the biggest games that we ever line him up at quarterback for. Okay, all the biggest games, all the games with. So much magnitude and 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 and, and uh, distinction. Like it is crazy that people talking. And I heard Michael Posh is talking stupid. Like, oh, oh, you made it personal. You made it personal. These niggas beat us the last two years and kicked us ass. Out, kicked us up out the playoffs. Nigga, it don't get no more personal than that. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? That don't make no sense to me. Oh, well, oh, you want to make it per- Nigga, it should have been personal. That should have been the only game circled on your damn calendar this fucking year. The only game. And guess what? You boys don't get a chance to answer that ass whooping unless we possibly meet them in the fucking playoffs. But guess what? 
in order to advance in the playoffs, then we have to beat this thing called playoff pressure, which one person at the helm seems to buckle under quite often. Okay. So if that boy is QBing, hey, man, it is what it is. It was a great season. Season. Not a great year. It was a great season because I believe the regular season, we're going to do what we're supposed to. But after that, that's that's it right there. But I also want to let people know I am not a prisoner of the moment with the Cowboys. Okay, you know, a lot of fans, uh, people who follow the guy, oh, fuck them, da, 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 all that crazy shit. I'm not one of them. I'm not a prisoner of the moment. I'm a prisoner without parole. That means I'm with these niggas till I die. Okay, that's that's the difference between me. You can take my quote and you can use people. All you motherfuckers watching and listening, I know y'all like that. Not a prisoner of the moment, prisoner without parole. I know, I know it's different. It's me. Okay, but I'm not tripping. I believe that this week, you know, in two days, well, three days actually, we play Monday night. Um, yeah, I'll be able to celebrate next show. You know what I'm saying? Next day, in a couple of days, I'll be able to. I'll be. I'll be able to celebrate and talk my shit. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Charges. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. You should be better. Yeah. Um, we, we better win. We we question. better win. Yeah. We, we better. Win. Don't think just me playing devil's advocate. Yes, sir. And you came on the podcast. Yeah, and you you talked a lot of stuff about Super Bowl bound. Oh, for sure, we are. Um, you had the same quarterback then. Like no, we had changed. other quarterbacks on the roster. So, but when you said it, you knew who your starting quarterback was then. So it's like I never expected. I don't expect him to make it all season. I don't expect him to make it the whole season as a quarterback. Personal. Okay, that's me. So you so basically your rant was contingent on him going out. We can't score. That's the problem. Uh-huh. And he is the one throwing the ball. That's the problem. Well, I when heard some, some, I heard some people talking about y'all offensive line was kind of trash. No, the offensive line is not. We got two surefire Hall of Famers, and then we got another dude out there that's looking like the next coming of Larry Allen. No, our O line is not trash. Uh-huh. It's not the O line. Right, besides C.D. Lamb, who we got to throw the ball to? Y'all, y'all you know some, what? Brandon Cook, Cook, Michael Gallup. You know, you oh. got Schumacher, 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 the, our tight end. Like, he could catch it. I mean, this nigga got to throw the ball. <laughs> I don't know what he be looking at. Every time I look at Dak, he always looking for the flat, which is Tony Pollard. Mm-hmm. And you always throw it to Tony Pollard, and he about to get his shit rocked. Like, every time. He don't never catch and create. He catch and deflate. He get rocked right away. So what you picking up these little one, two yard complete, bro? Come on, man. I rather you just throw that ball out of bounds, man. Don't give me one or two yard. Nigga, just throw it out of bounds. Because you're gonna get somebody hurt. You're leaving them boys defenseless and take them hits. All right. I don't know what's up with this dude, man. Like you want this money, bro. You gotta earn it. Mm. You, you, you ain't your name don't carry weight. I'm sorry. You ain't this shit for the cowboys for us to be talking about, hey, let's get give him money, get him paid. I'm cool. I'm cool. I would gladly let that nigga walk for nothing. Yeah, that's that's based, that's the consistent, the consistent. Uh, what, what I'm trying to say, the consensus. The consensus, yeah. That's definitely consensus from what I'm hearing from all the Cowboys fans. Y'all is gone. Mm-hmm. Um, the problem is I haven't watched them, but the problem with y'all that I noticed, y'all did the same thing with Tony Romo. Oh, talk Tom, Tomo Pyle. Yeah, yeah, he yeah. did. But I didn't think Tony Romo was playing that bad. Look. He do the same stuff. You saw how Dak threw three in a certain. Now, granted, it wasn't like Dak threw the passes to three individual defenders or whatever the case is, and they caught it clean. Some of them popped up in there. Some of them, two of them is his fault. Mm-hmm. Two, but three straight fucking possessions? Man. Boy, Tony Romo wasn't even that goddamn bad. <laughs> and he threw that thing. He threw that thing. But my God, boy, three straight plays. Luckily, the game was already out of hand. Mm. But my nigga, three straight plays. Dude, come on. Man. And where the fuck was our defense at? I thought, man, look, brother, man. Huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had no yeah. defense. The boy, George Kittle was. <laughs> boy, had to fuck you, Cap. Man, look here, bro. <laughs> Hey man, you can't. Hey, to the victor go to spoils, man. You can do what you want, bro. You backed it up. You backed it up. You had three of them. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? You had three touchdowns by your damn self. Mm-hmm. Two of your touchdowns would have beat us because we only scored ten. You know what I'm saying? 
Uh, like shit just crazy, man. I, look, bro. Right now I'm eating this thing right here, right? Uh, this is peanut butter and jelly. But this yeah. is what the Cowboys is notorious for. Peanut butter and jellies are also, I don't know what they might call them in Louisiana or anywhere else in the world, right? But up on the East Coast, they're called choke sandwiches. <laughs> this is what these niggas is, man. <laughs> right now, choke sandwich, man. Motherfuckers. <laughs> I ain't never heard of that shit. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'm so sure. I'm so sure. I'm not making that up. Uh, so sure. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> nah, nah, I'm going to pray for y'all. Hopefully y'all get it together. So <laughs> I, don't have to, I don't have to make a, make a, a whole reel of all the predictions you was making at the, at the beginning of the, of the podcast. I said we were going to lose three games, at least. Uh, I did say that. Okay. Th- that was one I of the. I didn't say we was gonna go undefeated when we lost our first game. I said that. I didn't expect these niggas not to go undefeated. Uh-huh. I didn't think it was gonna be the Cardinals. Uh-huh. I thought our first loss would possibly be the niggas that beat our ass. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. <laughs> we didn't make it that far, so uh-huh. we got two. We got one more guaranteed. Uh-huh. I don't know who it's gonna be, but I guarantee we're gonna lose one more game at least, but no more than two. So yeah. we'll go 13 and 4, 14 and 3. It's one of the two. Ain't no difference. You know what I mean? That's oh we might get five. I, I, I five. Five. Because we, we played a now we played a dolphin too. Now you change it up. I had to pull up the, the schedule that y'all we got. Played dolphins. I don't know how them dolphins is different, bro. Them niggas is them niggas be scoring. Well, let me see what y'all got. Left. Y'all we got, got the Eagles Chargers, five. The Rams. Hey, what about them? The Eagles. Uh, that's a L. We're going to lose one of those. We're not going to win both. We're going to lose one of them. Yeah, I gonna, uh, yeah if he play like we're that, gonna you're going to lose both of them if he play like that. Then you got the <laughs> Giants, <laughs> the Panthers, the Commanders, the Seahawks, the Eagles again. You got the Bills, who, oh. beat, the, uh, who beat the Dolphins. That's a L. <laughs> then you got the Dolphins the week after that. That's a L. <laughs> Uh, you got the Lions and the Commanders again. Uh, I Lions let y'all ride with them. I don't see y'all beat. I don't see y'all beating the Dolphins, the Eagles, or the um, Bills. I don't see that. Twelve and five ain't bad though. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> I think we're gonna get them. Though. I, I think well, we're gonna get them. Okay, but in okay. hindsight, twelve and five, mm-hmm. or fourteen and three, okay. or thirteen and four. It's, it's all a game of inches right now. Okay, no problem. Hopefully, yeah. hopefully our offense has been identified by that time mm-hmm. when it's time to play them upper echelon teams. Like, other uh, niggas better figure it out. They better figure it out quick. <laughs> so, oh, man. Well, I know people wanted to update about your Cowboys, how Book was feeling. You know what I'm talking about? There you go. You got yeah, it. Man, there's no one that pissed me off. Uh-huh. I'm more upset. Fucking Atlanta just lost the Braves. Mm. I'm more upset about that. 104 fucking wins this season, and we lose every fucking year to the Phillies when we play these niggas. They made I it personal. It. They made it personal. You saw what I knew they was gonna lose when I saw them with the Coach Prime tees, and, and uh, the, the, I, I knew it was over. They made it personal. <laughs> Bryce Harper was going crazy on <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man! Shout Terrible, out to you. Shout out Long to season that baseball is already, and y'all niggas flake out right there. Man, <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah, what up? Shout out to them, man. man right that? Huh? Childhood classic, man. Choke sandwich. Well, you need some water, nigga. I ain't see you drink nothing with that that choke sandwich. <laughs> what I call choke sandwich. <laughs> uh. Our time, our time, boy. <laughs> But hmm. let's let's get to some of these topics, man. Because like I said, I got I got a couple of them we got to get through. You know what I'm saying? Some of them going going to be talked about just a little bit longer. Real hmm. quick though, I got to throw this one out there. I don't know if you hmm. saw it, but they had a Bigfoot sighting um, last week in Colorado. Hmm. Um, if you look at it, bro was walking like Phil Jackson through the through the little wood thing. Um, it's some real shit, man. Go on, go on. Um, I think I saw it on the source and maybe the, the shade room and on um TMZ. 
and on TMZ. They they showed them. Mm-hmm. They was on a people's on the train and they saw them and they actually had recording of the Bigfoot. So check them out. Bigfoot is real. This year alone, we found out the aliens is real. Verified. We we just found out Bigfoot is real. And before the year is over, I'm telling you, the Loch Ness monster about to come out of here. And there's a trifecta right there. Everything they told us was fake. We we finding out this shit real. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it's Alpha. Was Alpha yeah. uh what you call it? Bigfoot? Yeah, he, he, he was something. I thought he was an alien. <laughs> I thought but Alpha was an alien. I don't know fuck you want to classify him as. Nigga was big though. Shaggy too. <laughs> Yeah, Look like a Chewbacca. Oh, I can't even do my thing no more after my talking surgery. About Harry and the Henderson. Ah, there you go. Yeah, yeah, Alf, about Harry and Henderson. yeah he, he was know. Yeah, 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 that ain't now. Yeah. I don't know what the fuck Alf was. <laughs> he was an alien. Alf was an alien. Okay. All uh-huh. right. I know you yeah, talking about Harry and Henderson. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yep. So shout out. Everything that we find out that they told us was fake. Now we find out the shit real. Mm. Keep your eyes open and aware. You know what I'm saying? Hey, don't want y'all to get angrily probed. Next thing. Uh-huh. Want to see how, how you feel about Kevin Gates, man. He was in concert spitting in that lady mouth, man. You ain't see that shit? <laughs> nah, thank you. He had this <laughs> pregnant lady on stage and he had like, like he was, you know how people be singing to him and all that? Yeah. But the nigga like dipped her head back and spit a loogie in her mouth and she like tasted it. And I was like, oh. That's the the most disgusting shit I've ever seen. <laughs> you gonna be a parent someday? Don't nobody uh, want like uh, first of all, like the freaking Nick classic shit that just came back out, where everybody, mom and aunties was gonna be in it. You yeah. don't want your child, son nor daughter, to see you getting a loogie spit in your mouth, and you just relishing in the shit. <laughs> That's crazy. I'd rather I'd rather see a family member talking about I'd rather see a family member pop pussy than get a loogie spit in their goddamn yeah, mouth. That's crazy. Yeah. That's that's a whole different level of nasty. See that other stuff, that's freaky. This is just plain right, nasty, filthy. That's oh. that no man. You can't kiss me no more, mama. You <laughs> hell no. <laughs> Not even on my cheek. You had to blow a kiss. Don't touch me with your lips. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That was the that's nastiest tough. thing I've seen. That's just nasty. to get spit in the mouth, like, ugh. And for her, to, she like how she she like drunk it. It was like, ah, oh. it was nasty as hell, man. Bro, I've seen adult films where people will be spitting. I'm like, I don't understand that shit. Mm-mm. I don't understand that shit. It looked crazy because it's like the dude she be like spit in my mouth, so he'll, you know what I'm saying? But she won't drink it. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> see, I'll be too descriptive, people. I'm sorry. This is what happened. So, and what I see. So, she be down there topping them off, giving the fellatio. You know what I'm talking about? You know, she at the podium talking into the mic, right? Mm-hmm. But I guess her mouth is dry. So, she be like, give me something. So, he, she catch it and spit it back on him and then go in. Like, I don't know what you watching, my boy. That's some nasty. Hey, right, bro, we just did whatever. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Be like recommended videos uh, based on your history. <laughs> hey. hey, man, it's freaking tall. Yeah, you ain't lying. You, <laughs> <Thank you, girl. laughs> you get some different categories over there. I don't know what hey, you watch. Uh, <laughs> like, yeah, bro. I'm in the freaky dicky. Yeah, that shit was nasty, though. That is disgusting, though. That's nasty. I just wanted to see if you saw that. Man. If you drink spit, you might as well drink piss. That, that's my thoughts. Nah, that's it's a little different. Nah, man. Because you, you kind of, when you kiss somebody, tongue them down, it's kind of like you exchanging. But I ain't just the no act of a, somebody in spitting a boogie is crazy. Hell no, bro. You talking <laughs> about like a little white teardrop coming down? That's <laughs> yeah. different. Hell no. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> You got to see it. That shit was crazy. I was like, oh, hell no. Nah. This nigga, wow. Yeah, I'll pass. I'll pass. That's all right. Man. Did you I, watch the movie? The nurse that saw the baby on the side of the highway? The nurse that saw the baby on the side of the highway? It, it's inspired by true events from the Carly Russell story. 
Oh that? yeah, she, she. You saw she got fined though. Yeah, she, she uh, got wait, eighteen thousand dollars, and yeah. they said they're recommending her do a year in prison. Oh really? Yeah. Oh, I don't know if she's gonna get the prison time or not, but they said the eighteen thousand wasn't enough. They trying to get her that year. That's hey man, and you with the either or eighteen or nigga, I take uh, the one. They, and they want both. Oh shit. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Wow. And she still won't talk about what she did. I mean, where she was at and stuff like that. Oh, she she's sticking so, to it. Huh? Why she did it? Sticking to her guns. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, well, he said, "Keep the lie alive." You know what I'm talking about? Mm. That was she doing? I watched that movie, man. The movie was they was basically saying she did it because a boyfriend, like she wanted attention from a boyfriend, basically. And the boyfriend was like on the move on the movie. He was mm. like stringing her along, and he was like, he you know he would come over there and and fuck her, but he was mm. like, "Nah, we we ain't together like that. I want to get some stuff taken care of." But he was. Fucking other other woman on the side, so uh, that's how the thing made it seem like, oh, you gonna you gonna miss me when I'm gone type shit. So I'm gonna make like I'm gone. If you watch this movie, it's on Amazon Prime. It literally got cheeses in every scene. It show like <laughs> show her eating cheeses at the beginning. Show her eating cheeses. She walking through, thinking about what should she do, and then she eating cheeses. Then it's like every every state she got cheeses. I don't know what it is. They must have okay. got some promotion from cheeses because they had it in every goddamn scene. But Carly Russell's out there. She's gonna get a year, eighteen thousand dollars, and yeah, that's crazy. He gonna charge me eighteen k for wanting to be lost, like. <laughs> Then get lost. You ain't had to call nobody with those stupid ass story. Uh, yeah, I see a baby on side of the road. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the baby moving. They said when they said how far it was that she traveled in her car, that was mm. crazy. The damn baby got uh <laughs> to reach hill speed, you know what I'm saying? Like, come on, it, it didn't wow. make sense, man. Dumb as hell, dumb as hell. Next thing we got to talk about. We 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 going through these pretty fast. That's cool. Next thing, we about to pump the brakes a little bit. I want to talk about it, get a little serious, um, and I want to get your opinion. Um, J.D. Pinkett is coming out with a book. Mm, I want to read it. You you want to read it? Oh, I, I, I ain't think I was gonna read it because she. Uh, I, I ain't gonna lie. It's kind of irritating she me. Um, <laughs> huh? She's selling the fuck out of it. <laughs> It's just irritating to me. It's like it's kind of like I don't I don't really want to hear it. It's like they they annoy me to a certain extent because it's like she came out said they've been separated since 2016. I I we read we listened to Will Smith's book. Will Smith on the book said they was they went they separate ways for like two years or something like that to find themselves. Yep. When he went on his, I know, and and Iwaska and and Iwaska yeah. shit, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. He, mind you, he never said they got back together, but he implied it, mm. and she implied it when they was on the red table talk, when they talked about they was they wasn't together with when they when she was messing with August. Yep. Yes, with their entanglement, they implied that they was back together again. Like that was, she said that was why we was on break. If you still on break, you you wouldn't you wouldn't you word it the way you that. worded it. Yeah, yeah. It, it just seems real weird now that you're coming out with a book. Now we ain't been together since 2016. Also, she talked about the night of the slapping, um, and she said that night she hadn't heard Will. Um, they hadn't used them titles, husband and wife, for years at that point. So it was shocking to her to say. When he said, um, "Don't keep watch your wife, mouth man. about my wife. Don't talk about my wife or whatever you said." Yeah. No, just keep my wife's name out Damn, your yeah, fucking you mouth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You that's what he said. Yeah, that's what that's definitely what he said. <laughs> Multiple times. <laughs> yeah, definitely what he said. I just gotta get your opinion, man. You said you want to read the book. Look, man. Mm -hmm. I read, listen to Will's. It's only right that I listen to his other half, no matter how long they've been apart. You know what I'm saying? 
because she's going to deep dive into the Tupac story, you know, more. Um, maybe not necessarily uncover some layers, but just kind of fill in some gaps of why she thought more so that they would be friends or would have hit it off type stuff. You know what I mean? Um, everybody always thought from the outside looking in anyway that there was more to the story between them two. You know, she's going to fill that in. Um, growing up in Baltimore, I want to hear how she sold drugs. What did you say? You know what I'm talking about? Like, I, I want to know if you was the, you know, if you the inspiration for the wire. Yeah. Like, I want to know, are you her? You know what I'm saying? Are you a depiction of her? That's what I want to know. I can't do a lot of these things no more because I had the surgery. You know what I'm talking about? But um, I think uh, this will be the final time that I actually have to hear about it. Like, after I read this, hear this, like, there's no more need for you to keep talking about anything. You know what I'm saying? This is your finally, this is your piece to shut the fuck up. You know what I'm saying? This, if if you ain't got what you need in there, then it need not be said. You see what I'm saying? Because you didn't write this, this memoir, this biography in no, in no 30 minutes. You took time to write down every thought, uh, every thought and take us through, you know, your journey of life up until the point that we're at now. So, um, I do think, I think a lot of shit that she does say is cat, you know what I'm saying? And it is just to get the people going, keep the people talking about it. Mm -hmm. um, but at the same time, they do say people misinterpret certain type of situations, especially in a relationship. Like you think we good, but we really not. I never said that we was back together. Just because I said, hey, come, you know what I'm saying? Come on over and give me some. That don't mean we back together. So I don't know what kind of, they both got a weird ass translation of relationship, period. You know what I'm saying? I don't know who tells the truth. That's the motherfucking problem. And I'm not going to get the answer, you know, from her. And I damn sure ain't going to get it from Will. Mm -hmm. I just think um, they just, uh, too much information is too much information, period. And uh, I was reading something, probably was scrolling online, um, talks about celebrities and their relationship. You know, Method Man was the, the, the point of discussion and talk about, you know, they've been married for however long him and his wife been married. Mm -hmm. And you never heard nothing about it in the, in the tabloids or in the news or whatever like that. Mm -hmm. You like the best way to keep my relationship on solid ground is not to divulge details. It ain't your business. Mm -hmm. So why am I come out there and say anything? Same thing with Lorraine State, him and his wife. You know, I think it said 18 years they've been married or something like that. I didn't even said, know he was married. That's crazy. Yeah. They say that's the secret as well. Exactly. You don't even know these things. Yeah. And that's how much they are in the news with it. You see what I'm saying? It's not publicized. It's not there to be criticized. So they just live their lives. You see what I'm saying? And everything is internalized. Like we keep everything in house. Don't shit need to get out into the, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm. so I, I think that's a lot of it. And two, they're, they're both in the same stratosphere of celebrity pretty much, you know, like they occupations are similar. So you was a star before you got with him. He was a star before he got with you. You see what I'm saying? In, in your own star. You know what I'm saying? Your own equal right of, you know, uh, popularity. So I, I think the cameras was always on them. And that's also, you know, you know, things that uh, allow relationships to get out of hand. But, you know, in regards to her and what she's talking about, I'm just like, you be talking too much, man. You talking too much. It just be cliffhanger sometimes. It just seems weird because you, you came out, you had your own show. And to me, it seemed like that was the time because you was holding everybody else's feet to the fire. It seemed like that would have been the time that you would have got all your business out there that you wanted out there. Mm. It, just, it seems extra weird that, you know what I'm saying, that you didn't. I mm. don't know. And I don't know. It just, I don't, to be totally honest, I could care less if they're together, if they're not. I just don't understand why all the toe tapping and all the slick talking and all that hiding the secrecy type shit is going on. It, it don't, it kind of don't make sense to me. Yeah. It's like, 
I, if you were doing this to, to sell your book, then I guess that's fine because people are in uh, and they always care about celebrity and want to know what's going on with them. But at the same time, it's like, man, come on. It's, it, it's, it's to me, it's kind of annoying. Mm. I don't know. And everybody, I mean, people want to know what's going on. I thought Will was going to talk about her more in his book, but he he barely even um, talked about it. Yeah, I gave him one chapter, the Jason's lyrics, and got in and got out. But it seemed like all her book, all her promotions is centered around him. I mean, it's Will Smith. Nigga, mega yeah. star. So like, I mean, That's crazy. that shit gonna sell. You mentioned the right name, you know what I'm saying? So. Yeah. Like if I told y'all I got a chapter in the book where I met Michael Jackson, nigga, guess what? Now, I'm not gonna talk about it. you're gonna have to read it to find out. Guess what people gonna do? They gonna consume that book. They gonna go get that book. You see what I'm saying? So she know what she doing. She know what she doing. It just comes off, man, like I, I don't know. It it comes off as to a certain extent, to me, it seems a little insensitive, man. Like, bro seem like he put he put it out on the line for you. Went over there, was fussing. I don't know how I don't know how bad it was, or if you felt like he shouldn't have did all that. It seemed like you could have just y'all supposed to be friends and life partners. You could have just touched him or like yo, just calm down. It ain't that serious. Okay. You could have did something like okay. that. You didn't do that. Yeah. You let that shit go. It's like, and then you come back and you say like, oh, that was in shock, and I didn't know this. It seemed a little weird. It mm. seemed like. The nigga holding you down and you ain't holding him down. It seemed funny to me. So I I, I don't know. I don't know what Will Smith did to her. But it don't <laughs> seem like in the overall scheme of things, she'd be having his best interest at heart. I, I don't it don't seem like it to me. And maybe I'm just maybe I'm wrong. I can take criticism if I'm wrong. That's fine. But it just don't seem it, I don't know. It don't seem I wouldn't want my old lady doing me like that. That's all I'm saying. Look at man. He need Vivica Fox. You know what I'm saying? He was good with Vivica Fox on Independence Day. That's a real ride or die. Mm -hmm. She was a stripper and everything. Got a dolphin ring. Niggas was good. You know what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. They was good. Why you why you can't be like that? Why you can't be like that, Jada? You know what I'm saying? You want to be Miss Low Down Dirty Shane. You know what I'm saying? It, it's crazy to me. I don't understand. Mm -hmm. I don't understand. Do you, do you but, hear um uh, what's his name? Um uh, his name. Uh huh? You still talking about Jada? Yeah. Tommy um, Lee Davis. Tommy Lee, yeah, yeah. 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 Talking about uh, Will Smith wanted to beat him up during on a movie set or something like that. Hey, yeah. It's like I don't even know why we talking. I don't even know why he talking about that. Like, how long ago was that? Y'all was on a movie set together. I don't even know a movie that them niggas was in together. Um. Ah, oh, man, I forgot. Um. One boomerang. Nah. Was she in boomerang? No, she wasn't in boomerang. That was how I got to do Trying to think of short haircuts. Um not not the movie with Wayman Tinsdale, where he was married. No, no, no. That was Holly Berry also. Oh, strictly business. That's what that one was called. It's a great movie. I'm about to watch that. Um what the fuck was I don't know no movie they was in together. Let's see. So I don't think she was ever on in Living Color. So woo. I don't. It was Woo. Oh. Yeah, Woo. <laughs> woo. What movie is that? Oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got to know that one. <laughs> yeah. Straight to DVD. All right. Well, VHS probably back then days here. Yeah. Straight to Blockbuster. I've, I've seen that movie. I've seen that movie. Okay. Yeah. How was it if you remember? Huh? How was it if you remember? I don't. I, I, I don't remember it like that. I remember oh. seeing it, but I remember okay. him t being Tommy Davis. I mean, being, he being himself and oh. she like sassy, but I couldn't tell you the plot like that. But it was oh. one of the movies back in the day, like Booty Call. All right, all right, all right. I got you. What's, the, got what's you. the plot of Booty Call besides them trying to get some? Get some ass. Yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Get I the mean, skits. Yeah. Okay. It's just one of them type movies, but mm. Mm. um, yeah. Shout out to shout out to him because that was so long ago. It don't make no sense. Mm. Uh, 
Yeah. And shout out to her. Yeah. Book, you had something, man. You had something you wanted me to show, man. Oh man, just in the theory and in the, in the, in the you know, there's a couple things, man. Well, well, yeah, let's get into that. But um, you know, in the spirit of childhood memories, people, you know what I'm saying? I'm eating choke sandwiches, you know what I'm talking about. Uh there's a time for us as we are at our premium age, you know what I'm saying, that we're in right now. Um, we grew up watching certain television shows and having crushes on certain individual women, okay. Um, if this is the younger generation that's tuned into us or an older generation, you had the ones that you gravitated towards also, but this is more our playing field. You know what I'm saying? And I just wanted to see who in this list had your interest, had your heart, had your attention all together. So that's where we at with it. Um, I think it's a, it's a, it's a diverse list. You know what I'm saying? Um, not all one complexion. Not all one ethnicity. You know what I'm saying? We got a variety. As we like to call it, the ne Neapolitan or is it Nepolitan? Yeah. Neapolitan yeah. ice cream. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> so it, it, it's that thing right there. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So I just want to see. We're going to go for three. We're going to go three? with three. Yeah, okay. we're going to let you pick three. That's, I'm glad you I'm didn't say you one. Three. I'm glad you didn't say one. We're good. Yeah, I, I, I could have made it hard because, uh -huh. boy, there was some hot throbs on there. I said, no, no, no. I got the. I got at least. I know I got two for sure. Mm -hmm. The third one I might think about a little bit. You know what I'm right, talking about? But, but tell the people. Let me put it up on the screen, and you you tell the people that can't see this. You tell them uh, who's on this list. Okay, that's the crazy shit. There's one person that I don't know, and I know I've seen her. But number one, people, this is Laura from Family Matters. Okay. Mm -hmm. Number two, Boy Meets World, Topanga. All right. Number three, we got Ashley. Ashley Banks, grown up Ashley, not child Ashley with the Girl Scout cookies. All right, this this grown Ashley. All right, number four, we got Kimberly, the Pink Ranger from Power Rangers, the original Power Rangers, the greatest fucking martial arts after after school fucking show ever that that was out at the time. You know what I'm talking about? Um, number five, I know her, but Zaria. I can't think. Zaria from, from the Parent Trap. Thank I mean, you. From the parenthood or parent parenthood? Yeah. Thank you. Robert Townsend, right? Yeah. Yeah. With Thank Robert Townsend. You, bro. I'm looking Sorry. at her. I'm like, I know I've seen her. Thank you, brother. All right. So, number six, I can't remember her name on the show, but it's from In the House, Mia Campbell. Mia Campbell. Okay. Yeah. All right. Number seven, we got, uh, oh my God, that's Hillary. <laughs> Hillary Banks, also Fresh Prince. Number eight, we got Kelly Kapowski. Okay. Saved by the Bell. Number nine, also, Lisa Turtle, Saved by the Bell. And number 10, we got Denise Huxtable from what else? The Cosby's. Okay. So, so we're those, talking about back then. We're not talking about what like what they look like now. Oh, yeah, yeah. Definitely not now. We yeah, talking I'm about, about say it's gonna cross off a whole bunch of them if we talk about what they look uh, like now. Boy, look at here. <laughs> <laughs> So, yes, people, we're talking about back then, not now, okay? Mm -hmm. So, back then in the 90s when they was, man, listen, all right? That's what we're talking about. So, back then in the 90s, we was just preteens seeing these women. You know what I'm saying? So, hey, I just want to know who y'all got. Y'all can follow along, name them off to you, you know what I'm saying? And just kind of gauge where we go and maybe explain our explanation as to why we like who we like. You know what I'm saying? So we're gonna go with three. I'm gonna let you dealer's choice, hit it up front. You, you want you want the my top pick first? Because I can put them in order. I, I can put mine in order as well. Okay. Do you want to start with number three or you want to start with number one? Let's go with three first. Let's go with three. So my yeah. number three, mm -hmm. I'm gonna say it is Lisa Turtle. That's my Lisa. that's my number three. Um number nine okay. Lisa Turtle. That that is my number three spot. Um, I used to love to see her on Saved by the Bell because she was literally the only black person on Saved by the Bell. <laughs> plus, okay, she just looked so good, and plus she wasn't on, just on Saved by the Bell. She was on mm -hmm. in the house. She was mm -hmm. um, Carlton's um, girlfriend for a little bit on in the house, mm -hmm. um, and she was on other shows, and she just looked amazing every time we saw her. Um, 
that is definitely my number three. I mm-hmm. I understand what happened later on in life. Mm-hmm. We're not talking about that. We're talking about at that time, that moment in time. Um, give me Lisa Turtle at number okay. three. Yes, sir. All right. Uh, hold on. I, I want to give people an honorable mention that's not on this list. Okay. Um, it is Michelle Thomas. Okay. Uh, people okay. might not know her by Michelle Thomas, but that is Myra Monkhouse. From Family Matters. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. So she, you know, everybody knows she passed she away. She gonna make the list if I had to put it in there. Yeah. That's yeah. what I'm saying. She's not on there. And I think just because of her tenure, how long she was part of the show, mm-hmm. they didn't give her the credit. You see what I'm saying? To add her in this list. So these are like main and supporting. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So people who had like integral, uh, you know, connections and uh, Genesis Qua you know meaning in the show not to say that her role was not important but i just don't think she had the amount of time and then the, the number of episodes that constituted being put on this list all right mm-hmm. so but uh i definitely she would definitely be in my list if i had three i could bump somebody out and put her in I ain't yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah all right so uh roll with me put me back up there i believe my number 10 is my number three and that is Denise. Yeah, yeah. I, I love, you know, if I can't have a mama, if I can't have Felicia Rashad, I damn sure gonna take it. If I can't have Claire, I'm damn sure gonna have, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, yeah. If I'm not gonna have Claire, I'm gonna have Denise. You know what I'm talking about? I'm, I'm, I'm gonna have something. Something yeah. in your bloodline, I was gonna get. Mm-hmm. It's gonna be that one right there. And I love how she look in the picture, because that's my shit. You know what I'm talking about? I love, love that that look right there. I don't know what that is. I'm gonna have to now. I'm gonna have to binge watch and see where she did that. At. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> that was later on. That's when she came back and she had to. She had. To, um, she was watching um, Olivia stuff like that. Mm-hmm. that was after college okay. right there. That was okay. College. Yeah, man. I love me some Denise, man. She. Oh lord. That, I think that might have been literally where my cake mix. Uh, 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 you know what I'm saying? Addiction came mm-hmm. into play at. You know what I'm talking about? She was the first yellow that I was like, God damn. You know what I'm saying? So she she was my number four. Number four for you? Okay. She's she my okay. number four. And yeah. yeah, it's just because I like Claire more. That's all. I got you. That's, that's all. I, I, I spent more time staring at Claire. It. You know what I'm saying? But I'm yeah, mad. definitely. I'm mad. I'm mad. I'm mad. Okay. Uh, number two. Mm-hmm. Pull what you got? Up. Let's pull this back up. Yes, sir. Uh, I got to go with. I gotta go with Zaria, number five. Mm. You, you know why? You know why she my number five? Why, 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 she, why, she, why, why she your number five, bro? Well, number five. Why she your two? Reagan Gomez, um, because literally when that show was out, she was like it felt like she was our age. Mm. I mean, everybody else they seemed like they was older, or they was they, they, everybody. Nobody seemed like they was on the same age as us. But Zaria, okay. she seemed like she was attainable, like. I okay. could get her. So okay. Zarya was my is my number two because I'm like her, her brother was goofy. It's like I can fuck him. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody worried about this little goofy ass nigga. I can get in that thing. You heard me? I just need a chance. So shout out to Zarya. She my number two. <laughs> okay. And she still looks amazing to this day. Like okay. it, it held up. She she held she holds up real well. She's All right. Hey, mm-hmm. I ain't mad at it. I'm not mad at it. Like I said, I knew I knew her. I just couldn't think of what show. So I was on Google like 90s sitcoms, mm-hmm. black sitcoms. And it <laughs> parenthood never came up. And I was like, I, I don't think she on there. I was thinking of uh what's the one with T and Samara's uh Taj Lowry. I was trying to think of that show. I was mm-hmm. like, what is that what she's on? But then I was like, nah, she ain't on that one. That's the other light skin joint that had the braids that uh, you know, yeah. I was like, nah, that ain't it. So, um, okay. Well, people, my number two for this list is actually going to be number seven. And number seven, people, if you remember, because it ain't up there, is Hillary Banks. Mm. That's my number two. Love me some Hillary. Mm. Hillary, will you marry? I love it. <laughs> yes, Trevor. Yes. <laughs> I don't know, man. It's just like how they made her. It's like, yeah, she was klutzy, ditzy, and all that shit. You know what I mean? But 
Oh my God, like she was 90210 for real. Beverly Hills, like the depiction mm -hmm. of a bubblehead or a bobblehead, whatever you want to call them. You know what I'm talking about? Can't chew gum and tie their shoelaces at the same time. That was her. And I loved it. <laughs> oh my God, she was so, oh my God, Hillary was beautiful to me. <clears throat> Will is the smart, yeah, I love all of that shit. You know what I mean? People don't think, like, people don't think about her role and how dynamic it was. Like, mm -hmm. first people want Fresh Prince if I didn't see Hillary. I'm not going to lie. Like, I can get my laughs on, but I also wanted to be entertained, and I'm entertained whenever she walked in the room. Mm -hmm. So, oh, uh, especially young Hillary. Oh, oh, the, the, when the series first started, oh, mm -hmm. my, Hillary was different for me. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, loved it. Loved it. Love her. So, right. Hillary, Hillary's my number two. Shout out to Karen Parsons. You know what I'm talking about? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, number one spot. Go ahead, man. Make me a believer. Ooh, number one spot. Can only be one. Is my number six. Maya Campbell. My okay. That's my number six. Uh um, number, number six. Okay. She was she looked so good, dog on good back then. It didn't make no sense. Just naturally. Beautiful, and I don't know if y'all see mine. Like, let me put these back up here. Yeah, um, we can see the trends from five, nine, and six. Mine is is, is darker black skinned women. You see, you got ten and seven, they're a little lighter on books. Spot, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but hey, it is you know, they still black women, though. They still black women. Hey, it is what it is. <laughs> hey. <laughs> hey, I'm not saying he don't like the sisters, but you know what I'm saying. I'm just oh, saying, hey, it is what love it is. Love them, man. Love them. <laughs> Lisa was my four. Lisa was yeah. my four on my list. Uh, but yeah, um, <laughs> definitely number six, Maya Campbell. She was beautiful. She in the house. It was like, man, I couldn't believe it when I saw her. It's like goodness. I ain't never seen nobody that beautiful at that time. She was like I the think. one. Uh, we all know what happened later on in life, unfortunately. Yeah, unfortunately. Yeah. It's hard to take that out of my mind, but yeah. when you said we stuck in that generation right there, then I'm with, I'm with her. But if you give me one year after that, I'm I'm she not she off my list totally. <laughs> I'm, I'm done with that. <laughs> but shout out to her. I can't take it away. She was a beautiful woman. Yeah, and she was. That's, that's who I got my number one. Definitely was. Um uh, well, people, um, go to your white woman. I know you better go to Panga. <laughs> so, people, understand <laughs> that my number one is indeed, in fact, my number two, which is to Panga. <laughs> Boy, this world. I'm not gonna lie, because when I saw her, it was Boy Met the World, mm. Met the Universe. Like, I was open nosed. To, to 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 what the fuck is this? Mm. I want some of that. I need some of this. Mm. And that that was the panga for me, man. I think you know a lot of men in our age range. Like she makes the cut somewhere. Like that would be sure. even mm. if they don't say like oh at, like out of the list that we gave. Mm. Um, she's not necessarily the better looking individual. You know, woman of the the catalog that we we were able to see people um but she is just uh a pillar of captivation for me like i've never heard another woman's name be topanga I've, I've never heard this not in real life not nowhere else there's only one topanga yeah. just like when you say Sade, nigga there's only one mm -hmm. you see what i'm saying so that's that's how i feel about topanga like there's no way like she, she, hey, man, I, I understand she is the of the vanilla complexion. <laughs> um, but again, people, we said this is a Neapolitan, you know, talking <laughs> about ice cream basket right here. So it is what it is. I, I can't, I can't undo the way that she made me feel. Mm -hmm. You know, it's something about the name Topanga. It is just, man. I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you this. Everybody but, on this list. At some way or another, except the Pink Ranger. Yeah, I don't and, know about that yeah, one. Yeah, except the Pink Ranger to me. Um, yeah. And I ain't really care for Kelly either from Saved by the Bell. But everybody else had that same type of feeling 
Mm. You, felt, you, you, you felt that way about him. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. yeah. So I, I, I agree with all of. Them. I yeah. didn't I never cared about the Pink Ranger to me. Um, and Kelly, now nah, I like uh, what you would call it better. Uh, I like Lisa better. And mm-hmm. I even like the other long neck one, um, the one that was on the drugs, uh, <laughs> the one that <laughs> the one that was taking them drugs. What's you? What's you saying? <laughs> Let's just say that. <laughs> the one that did that strip tease thing when she was butt naked on the movie after she got out saved by the bill. Um, what's what's the oh, name? Oh, uh, the uh, I know what you're talking about. The one that dated us, uh, uh, AC. They see uh, Slade, yeah. What's what's her what was her name? I can't remember her name. I know you're talking about though. I know yeah. you're talking about. I, I liked her about. better. I liked her better than um Kelly. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. But yeah, other than that, it is mm-hmm. what it is. Yeah, man. So I don't know, man. My first rap ever was about had to paint in it. Like we was on the bus. I don't even know what grade it was, man. I think it was seventh grade. Could have been eighth. I'm not too sure where we was going. But that was my first time, my first bar, people. It was trash, but Topanga was in it. You remember? You, know you remember the line? Uh, vaguely, how trash it was. Yes, I remember. <laughs> um, the bars, it was like uh, I forget the beat that we was getting. You know, what I'm saying clips grinded one out yet, so it was some bullshit, some <laughs> bullshit up banging on the window and shit, and slapping the seats <laughs> on the yellow bus. Um, something like I got a thing for Topanga. She ain't got nothing but a hanger. Got me in a world of danger. Some shit like that. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever Rob went to pay, good, I used it. <laughs> that was trash for real. <laughs> <laughs> but she's my first mom. That's how much I love her. <laughs> well, well, yeah, yeah. Yeah, man, I put better. your name with a rap girl. You know it's real. <laughs> what you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I used to like the Panga, too. Yeah, one thing. Her voice was irritating after a while too. Uh, hey, it is what it is. I mean, she's she, 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 shout out to Japan. Shout out, shout out to everybody on that list. You know what I'm saying? You had some beautiful selections. I ain't got no argument with any of them, brother. They all, all stellar picks. All stellar. All stellar. Just, man, Japan is still kind of. She still looks like herself too. You seen her? She I still, saw. Her. She still looks like herself. We still get the J Cole thing. Yep. What the hell? Them boys and ran a punt back. What what the happened? Lord Jesus. People, y'all know he's watching the game, so that's that's what that came. Lord if Jesus. Y'all <laughs> Them boys is winning 29-0. Now it's um it's 12 to 29. Come on, man. Lord. Second half, man. Mm. Ah, bad luck, man. I'm not watching like I should be. Nah, you all right, brother. You all right. Yo, he um, ain't running back. He that was a pass. Yeah, I duh. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, uh, they was like on the two. That nigga passed the ball. The first pass play he got done all season, and then through that thing, that's crazy. Anyway, yes, sir. shout out to y'all, man. Thank y'all for tuning in with us, man. Book, come on, let's get us up out of here, man. Uh, real quick, people, I just want to say the problem with the game for the Cowboys was the physicalness. The physicalness was not there. Okay? You know, we was lacking physicalness. And I say that to take y'all out because physicalness is not a fucking word. And I get tired of these motherfuckers that be using words that don't exist. And I hate people. I don't hate nobody. I have a strong disdain for individuals who use the wrong words in the incorrect moments and create words that are nowhere in the glossary or anywhere that can be defined. All right. So when I say that, people, I mean specifically, specifically those people when it's supposed to be specifically with an S. So I don't know specifically ocean. Like, I don't know where y'all get these words. You know what I'm talking about? I had a whole rant. I had a whole rant for this. Like, I literally wrote the shit down. What I that's that shit I don't like. You know what I'm talking about? Perspective. I'm sorry. Personal. When you mean to say personnel, like I, I just, you know what I mean? Like he couldn't get his that? personal in order. What you, nigga, his personnel? <laughs> Bro, people be, man, listen, I hear it all the time. I ain't just making this shit up. You know what I'm mm-hmm. talking about? And what you got to understand, people, is when you misplace actual words like perceptive and perspective, know which is which when you're using that connotation. 
okay mm. perspective is thought perceptive is view okay that that's <laughs> the, the, the visualize okay yeah. that's why they say perception okay mm. Nick, come on get it together <sighs> Get it together. I can't take it, bro. I be around this shit a lot. I hear it on the phones. I hear it on TV. Physicalness mm -hmm. was none other than the playmaker himself, Michael uh, Irvin. He, he said that when he was talking about the 49ers whooping our ass. I'm like, yeah, man, we 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 lacked physicalness. I'm like, nigga, nobody's gonna correct this nigga. He you said it like four times. About that. He said it like four times. Who was that? Boosie? <laughs> well, I forget what Boosie word was that he was fucking up. We talked about <laughs> it. Uh, but we uh, named the show after that shit, man. But yeah, that, that man, come on, bro. Like y'all can't be doing this. And then what tripped me out was Keyshawn Johnson came in. Yeah, uh, yeah, playmaker. You know the physicality. That's the word the nigga was looking for. I don't think he wanted to stop him. And be like, hey, man, physicalness ain't no word, bro. It's physicality. Just mm -hmm. let that nigga rock. But anyway, people, that's just me, pet Eve. All right. But remember to like, share, subscribe, and comment to the damn show. You know what I'm saying? I know I say a lot, but I will never fuck up words and placement, and I will never create no shit. All right. I will follow us on worry, Instagram man. at the huh? Have I? I, said, I, will. Oh. I ain't gonna do it oh, like okay. that, but I will. Uh, I mean, you <laughs> know, uh, some but now that's cool. We understand what that means because you gave it to us. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like you broke that down. You can't break down physicalness to me. That ain't that not real. So <laughs> email us at man's view podcast at yahoo.com. Uh, let us know what your pet peeves are, man. If you got some gripes that's similar to mine, let us know. You want us to talk about something, let us know. Do all that shit for the show, all right? And then follow us on Twitch and Facebook Gaming at NB Podcast Game. Other than that, man, we've had a great time. We appreciate y'all being here, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, stayed up late. Well, France was already going to be up late. Mm -hmm. I, I devoted my time right after shift to y'all as, as, as usual. And uh, I hope it was worth it. Yeah. Man, shout out to y'all. Thank y'all for tuning in. It's been MVP. Yeah. We're going to holler at y'all. Peace out. Go on. Pray for me. Pray for me. Do everything I can.